This video contains flashing images. Hello there, good people. My name is Big Mooney. This here is episode number nine of the Battlefield 4 Top Place. And, uh, well, this is the first episode of the new year. And uh, long may it continue into 2014. Hopefully, this is a good year for the top place. But you can check out last week's winner in the description down below. And uh, we have 10 amazing clips, as always. Let's get into it now, shall we? Our first clip of the day and of the year comes from Legend Ghost, and he's playing here on Galmond Railway and just rams the shit out of this little light tank just here. And uh, I don't know why you would show the back to that tank, but whatever floats your boat, he does eventually win that little battle just there. This guy comes out of nowhere, just pumps the jet out the sky all nonchalant like, and then decides, ah, screw it, let's go for the double, and takes out a chopper also immediately. Second up today, we have Anarchy Ninja playing this time on Henan Resort, and uh, he's using the Ace 23 assault rifle. And uh, he's taking down two people right away just there, and uh, I'm not sure, did he actually reload his gun or did he pick someone else's gun up? I'm not entirely sure. But he goes running into the hotel area just here, into the main foyer, and uh, takes down two people. And then the third guy comes walking around the corner, wondering what the hell is going on. He gets put down also. Guy upstairs was already pretty much dead by the time he actually started shooting at him, so his teammate got that guy. But it's all good. There's plenty of people to kill to go around as we run down this one side just here. There are some people all bunched up upstairs. And one guy did see him downstairs. He's fully aware of the guy chasing him. So, very cleverly, he goes around, jumps over the guy's head. He is none the wiser. He takes him out. And uh, it was just a nice little quick streak with a bunch of kills. Clip number three of the day comes from Senzu, playing here on Silk Road, flying around in his jet, doing as he does. And uh, he sees his target way down below him. Usually they're firing up above when they're trying this sort of thing. And he gets the Rendizuk landing back in his jet. What? Number four, I just think this one's really funny from Mr. Private Griff. As he guns down two people right away at the start of the clip, there's just an absolute clusterfuck going on around the bomb just here, playing an Operation Locker. And he finishes it off with a NINJA STAB MOTHERFUCKER! What the fuck was going on, man? Number five, we have Reedy Poem 6, and he's just playing on Galmond Railway in his tank, and it's going all blurry and shit. I don't really know what just happened there. I'm not even sure he knows. I think it may have been a cruise missile from one of the commanders, but we're just going to roll along, pretend nothing happened, gun down this guy here that was just standing in the middle of nowhere, wondering what the fuck was going on. And uh, he's going to be using his, uh, his LMG or his HMG, I don't know what one it is he's using on uh, tank you throughout the clip because, uh, well, that thing is really, really useful. When there's infantry around and you're in your tank, uh, the LMG in the front of the tank does some fucking damage. But he does take down another tank just there and uh, almost 500 points in that little streak just there as we take that guy down. But uh, we're going to protect the bomb carrier now. We're playing some more obliteration. Like I've mentioned in the past, obliteration is very prominent game mode in the top players. A lot of people seem to send it in. But uh, these two guys pull out right in front of his tank and they do not see him at all. And then he just finishes off the tank on the right, the tank on the left. The guy decides to bail but does not quite get away. Neither does this guy over here as he takes him down also with the LMG and possibly just to kill us in that one. Sneaking up behind these guys being all ninja stealthy like in a tank because that's possible. And uh, we're going to keep on rolling all the way down towards where the bomb carrier went. He tried to solo it and... Um, Spoiler, he's not going to make it as we start cruising down here in a second because there's so many enemies piling around this objective down here that uh, it's pretty damn difficult to try and get down there on your own. He's trying his best, Rita here, to actually catch up to the guy, but eventually he does die because, you know, there's tanks and loads of other shit around this objective over here, so he does eventually get killed. But uh, the enemy team did pick up the uh, objective just there, the bomb, and uh, it's now his, uh, his priority here to try and stop that bomb from going anywhere. So uh, try and isolate them, stop them from getting near any vehicles and does a good job just here as he does actually take quite a few hits, down to 4% health before he puts up just a tank shell right in that guy's face. But that was a bunch of people, he took out really quickly there. For number 6 here we have Calico and he's playing Operation Locker and uh, he's going to be using the shorty 12 gauge for most of this clip just here as he takes out 1, 2, possibly a third and a second, there we go. 
as he reloads the one single shell in there and then again one single shell so we're getting the long reload animation but it's all good you only need one shell to put those guys out of the misery before we go running down this one side just here and uh, we're gonna speed through this a little bit and uh, one guy he does kind of get away he does get the assist counts as kill so it's all good he gets himself a little double kill just there as he puts a bullet in that guy's face and then his friend who came running up the stairs and um, well he's only got four shells left and uh, it's what he really wants to do for some reason he's just decided he's just going to be using the shorty 12 gauge for this whole clip and uh, he does really well with it considering he's using a, a secondary you only get three shells in this thing he does really well with it and I don't know why but he decides to go over and steal this guy's kit when he does eventually kill him there with the 12 gauge and uh, he moves on to the M416 running around looking for some more people to take down we see another couple of guys this guy running up the stairs gets taken down there and um, He's just putting himself around. He's running around the map. He's clearing up any enemies that he does see. He gets a nice little kill streak going. Any enemies that do come up in front of him usually get put out of their misery pretty damn quickly. And uh, again, we're going to speed through in the interest of time. Take this guy out who's just sort of standing in a corridor just here. Guy lying at your feet just there, sir. I think he actually does eventually pass away, unfortunately, but he does put some bullets in that enemy's face there for good measure. Anyway. And uh, again, it's just a clip that I enjoy watching. You know, he runs around and kills a lot of people. For clip number six just here, we have Bombino Sniper. Now, you guys know this guy from the series, and he does not send mediocre clips at all. He, he never does. Look at this right here. He's just chilling, playing some alt high range, and he's just going to get himself a uh, 600 meter headshot and then another one just there actually that wasn't a headshot but it's still a 600 meter snipe as he takes the guy out and we're going to turn our attention up to the hill up there on that mountain takes out another one there with over 700 meter headshot just there and uh, for his follow up shot we're going to look for someone else to take out there's a couple of guys just chilling in the middle first one misses unfortunately second one that guy's not so lucky and then third one he takes down another guy just there over 1400 points just from two bullets just there really and uh, we're going to go back up looking for some more people to shoot I love how he shoots at the guy and he knows right away that he's going to kill him he just turns his attention to the next target <laughs> and then the bullet lands the bullet is in the air for so long Looking for any more people to take out. We see another one guy off to the left just there. We take him out there. Over 630 meters, I think. It's very small writing. But uh, looking for some more people. There we are. There's another couple just sort of running around. They're not static enough. At this range, if they are moving, they, it makes it extremely difficult at them. This one here is the icing on the cake, though. He just blew up a tank. Because there was some mines or C4 or something lying there. And he popped it. That is ridiculous. That is a lot of kills. For number 8 this week we have Tops DK. And he's just standing on top of the roof just here. Just surveying the chaos down below. And uh, well, he spots his target. There he is. Whips out a good old straw. Guy gets obscured by the building. But that doesn't matter. That's not going to save you son. As we bend a rocket around the building. And take the guy out. I don't know how I mean I know that it's probably more than likely very very lucky I, I know that I'm aware of that but it doesn't change how awesome it is it is to say to chuck a nade off the roof for I don't know a fireworks show or some shit for people down there but the club isn't done obviously you may have noticed it's still running as he gets himself another little triple kill taking down another helicopter for number nine this week here we have Obina and he is playing on Garmin Railway in a tank and uh, I think that's the third clip today, it's on this exact setup, on this exact map, but he's going to be firing at this uh, anti-aircraft tank, takes it out just there, the guy didn't really do too much damage to him, taking him out just there, and then an enemy helicopter comes flying around at high speed, and he does not want to get any shit from you, sir, as he takes him out and gets himself a nice little double kill, and uh, we're not done yet, cruising around, looking for some more people, oh there's a high speed pursuit going on, oh we'll just help you out mate. As he takes him out of the sky first time. For number 10 here we have Nova El Mac. And he's playing an all-time range. He's in his jet. He's flying about doing his thing. And um Yeah, you know where this is going. I don't know how to do it. I hope you guys have enjoyed this week's Battlefield 4 Top Plays. If you have, hit that like button down below. But I will see you guys next week. Goodbye.